from the Tabernacle of David Prophetic Dance Center in Jerusalem. It's a wonderful day. I am positioning my heart to have a heart full of gratefulness and thanksgiving. And I do believe that that is the key. When we complain and we murmur and all of that negativity, I don't believe it blesses our life. I don't believe it releases the blessing of God. And when we pray and we take it even a step further and we thank God, we go beyond asking, but we thank him for doing that which we need to see happen. God showed me some years ago, it's in that moment that he releases our angels to go and accomplish that which we just thanked him for. He's a good, good father and he loves us so much. Earlier today in my Moving the Telling series, I was talking about the million dollar question. How do we navigate this human being, this human existence, being born from above, born anew, born of the spirit? We want to be elevated. We, we don't live for this anymore. We submit this to the spirit of God. And yet, we still have this magnificent heart where Yeshua chooses to live and breathe and have his being. Our heart is so precious to God. And I always say, it's not acceptable for me to just know that I'm going to heaven, I'm going to live forever with God. That's the ultimate. But what about the quality of my life here on this earth? I want to get healed every day. I want to continue this healing process. Will I be 100% restored before I go to heaven? I don't know. But I know that I can do something about being the best I can possibly be. If I'm connected to my full beating heart, I can be connected to yours. But on the contrast, if I'm disconnected, I cannot offer you. I cannot be a healing balm to you. I cannot offer you any compassion or mercy because I am disconnected living on automatic pilot. And once upon a time I was, before I knew the Lord, I got saved at 29 years of age and I began the healing process with Adonai. It doesn't happen by osmosis. We have to choose that that's what we want. Yes, our soul is saved, but our heart, as all of us have been in this world, is broken and devastated and some more than others. And God doesn't want us to remain that way. He loves us because he loves us because he loves us. And our, our love for him is a beautiful thing. But if I walked away from God, which would just be horrible for him, he wouldn't take his love away from me. His love for me has nothing to do with what I do. Isn't that amazing? That's something to really meditate on. So let's have a heart full of thanksgiving and gratitude. And let's speak the things that are not as though they are. And let's thank him for everything we need to see happen. And he, by the power of his Ruach, his Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Yeshua, leads and guides us into all truth. What a faithful God and his spirit empowers us to do great and mighty things in the name of Yeshua. Let's have a childlike faith. My daddy said it, I believe it. And that settles it. God bless you from the city of the great king, the city of rejoicing, his resting place forever.